My name is Judy Jenkins, and I had a beautiful, quirky 40-year-old daughter that I lost to prescription medication due to drug overdose. She was very much a part of me, my heart, my family. She had such potential. She was extremely smart. She could accomplish whatever she went for. So Lydia was addicted to medicines that weren't her own. I had to hide medication in my home because, of course, I take basic meds, medications. Lydia would find it. Lydia, she had the nose of a bloodhound. She could find it no matter how many layers I put on top of it. She was so mindsetted toward getting medicine that she ruined relationships, she ruined her own self-image, she ruined jobs, she ruined um, sometimes our family relations. Lydia was 41 when she died. I said to her, hey Lyd, I'm coming up to the Northern Virginia area, let's go out to lunch, we'll pick up your brother, we'll go from there to a spa, we'll just have a great mom and daughter day. I drove 10 hours up to Northern Virginia, knocked on the door and there was no answer. I went in the door, I walked upstairs to her bedroom, I heard the TV loud. I opened the door and saw my daughter slumped over at the head of her bed. Lydia's need for pain control became more important than even breathing. Um, I have come to terms with my daughter's death and if anything I can say or do will help one other parent or one other child, um, that's what I'd like to do. Until I started actually counting each pill in my pill bottle, I had no idea that she was taking from everything I had. Lydia's brilliance in finding medication and my inability to hide them appropriately, a lot of that could have been helped with the count it, lock it, drop it. Um, and I realize that now Lydia's been dead a year and a half and it won't do her any good, but I'm pretty sure it'll help a lot of other parents to give them a little sense of control. This program is marvelous to give you another aid to help you.